Good afternoon. I'm Christina Felchlin, Director of Consulting Services with Ledgeview Partners, and I'd like to welcome you to today's Dynamic CRM 365 User Group Webinar. For our agenda today, we have a really fun new topic for you called chat. Have you ever been on a website where you get a pop-up that says we are available to chat or you see a button that says live chat? Well, Microsoft has this capability that is included in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Michael is going to explain what chat is, the benefits, and provide a nice demo of the features. After Michael shares his knowledge on chat, he will then move into the pre-submitted questions. Then I will close out the webinar with resources and other LVP upcoming webinars. For housekeeping, to ensure the best audio quality, we have everyone on listen-only mode. If you have a question, please submit in the question pane of the GoToWebinar control panel. If we don't get to your question, we will follow up offline or include it in an upcoming webinar. Today's webinar is being recorded and will be available on demand at the end of this week. All registered attendees will receive an email with an access link to the recording as well as the presentation slides. Now to get to today's future topic, I will turn it over to Michael Dodd, Support Consultant with Ledgeview Partners. Thank you, Christina, for that wonderful introduction. I hope everyone is doing well today and uh, enjoying the last little bit of summer that we have left. But we got one last hot topic to get to, so let's jump on in. Chat. So, like Christina said, you ever been on a website where you get, have that pop-up or you have the ability to converse with somebody through chat, a live interaction between two people to get your questions answered? You ever been looking at that going, wow, that'd be really great to have on our system, but then also have the great access to Dynamics 365 that we have currently and have them marry up with each other? We'll look no further than uh, Live Assist Chat. It's exactly what it's intended to do. It's intended to mix right in there with Dynamics 365 to chat right from there for your users and interact with your customers on your website. It allows customization of chat interaction. So that live chat button, you can customize it basically to anything you want, locations that it's available, how they interact with you via chat, what their window looks like, and a lot more. So that's what chat is, but what's the benefits of it? Well, the obvious one is that you interact directly with your customers when they're on your website. So they're there, they're a captive audience, and they're, they're wanting more information, and you're available. So they no longer have to call, you're just online right with them. You no longer need a custom third-party chat tool that's outside of 365. It's built right into Dynamics 365, so it's right there for you. You gain the edge of being right in Dynamics 365 where all your, co your customer's information is, so their contact information, prior cases that you've worked on for them, your knowledge base, account information, anything else that you've housed in CRM, it's right there for you because the chat exists in Dynamics 365. So really, really cool interaction. Some of the other benefits of chat is the ability to create a case right from the chat. So if you're having a chat with somebody, it's not necessarily just a simple, quick answer. It's gonna take some more research. You can create a case right from that chat. You can add the visitor. That's what they call um, the customer that you're interacting with. You can add them as a contact. So if they're a new person, never worked with them before, you can add them as a contact to CRM. And a lot of customizations that you can do, like I said, with the button, with the chat interaction, um, different um, ways to make the pop-ups happen, you know, different conditions. You can have pop-up messages, and we're gonna show you that a little bit later and so much more that chat can do. We could literally spend hours on chat, but we're gonna hit on some of the highlight top features of it. So we're gonna jump into CRM and I'm gonna show you the Live Assist Agent Widget. So let me pull over Dynamics 365. So this is Live Assist right here. So this is a chat that I'm having with an individual right now. And we have these various different buttons. First one that I like to touch on is your current status. So if you click here, it shows that I'm online. I can set it to back soon, I'm away. Um, basically, it's just setting your status for the chat. You can also search other agents or queues right from here. And you can set, set filters as well, different types. So an agent or a queue, their status, 
their skill level, and their role. You can look at previous chats. So my closed chats, I can take a look at these closed chats. One thing to keep in mind is that it only goes back 24 hours. So let's say I was having a conversation with somebody and um, maybe they ended it and they had an additional question. Well, I can look back at that previous chat that I had with them, get the quick information on it, and then continue the conversation. This right here is grab a chat. So I'm gonna show you during our demo when a chat comes in, how you grab that. So then if we wanna continue, apologize, I clicked that off. We continue down below, we have a couple of different buttons as well. We have the create a case. So right from this test, from this create a case for test, you can create a case right here. You just click on it. And it's going to open a brand new case for you. Can you make your adjustments and different information that you'd like to put in? You can also open a chat activity. So if you click on open chat activity, what it's going to do is it's going to put in this chat activity right here with information. And as soon as it completes the chat, it's going to pull in the transcript, as you can see right here. And if you're idle for a certain amount of time, it's gonna close the chat. That's why this one is currently closed. And then there are other features when you're live as well. Some other live features that you have is that you can search your knowledge base. So you can click right here, it'll open up your knowledge base that's right in the system during the live chat, I'll demonstrate that as well. You can transfer the chat, so let's say you're a tier one or, or, or you're able to answer some quick questions, but it's maybe a little bit more technical that you need, you need some help with. You can escalate this up to a new user or queue. All the chat history is gonna follow that transfer. So they're gonna be able to see all the information that you were talking about so they're not glowing, going in blind. And then you also, again, as, you, as I said, you can create the case right from the chat. You can also add this customer right to CRM. So with this plus button, if I click the plus button, what's gonna do is it's gonna create a new contact. And then I just start putting in their information. First name is as test. And then we just add the last name and keep moving down. So it's a really great interactive tool in which you can do many things. Next thing that I wanna show you is Live Assist. So if we go through our navigation and we go to service and we go to Agent Live Assist. So if I start up a brand new chat with our individuals, I will show you exactly what I can do from the Live Assist section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start up a brand new chat and this will be what it looks like from Live Assist. So right here, it's gonna pop through with a grab a chat. So if I click grab a chat, here's my information right here. And this is kind of the same look as you see in Dynamics 365, it's just pushed out into the Live Assist portal. The reason why it's important within the Live Assist portal, is because when you hit view more information, it's gonna take you out to this Live Assist section. You can do that again right from Dynamics 365. It's just going to take you out to this, the Live Assist, click View More Information, and then you can take a look at all their visitor information. So what it's going to give you is their name, their email address. If they happen to fill this information out, if you set up a pre-survey, which means they ask you a few questions before you start the chat, it's going to give you that information right here. The country that they're calling from, the city, what device they're using, the operating system they're on, the browser they're using. Really great information for troubleshooting in case maybe they're having an issue with the website. You know what browser they're on. So if you know that maybe your website looks works a little bit better with Internet Explorer versus Chrome, you can touch on those pieces of information as well. It's gonna show how long they were waiting before they got a response. When the chat was started, then also when it ends. So if you're looking at a past call or a call that ended, you can see when it ended. Where the request came from, the actual website URL that it came from. 
chat skills. This is technical because we set up a specific button that only works with technically skilled agents. And then it's going to show their pre-chat survey information right here. So it's really great key information. And then the customer's page navigation history, the timing of it, and then also past chat history as well. So what I'm going to do, and because I moved out to the Live Assist portal, it logged me off within Dynamics 365. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this back up. I'm going to close out my conversation, and I'm going to show you how we start a brand new chat right from our customer's website. So if we go here to our website, so this is just our demo website. This live chat feature, what they call, this is called a sticky button. Basically what it does is it sticks to the side of your window and allows you to start a chat with your company. The reason this is really cool, this is actually the ledge view green. So our specific green to ledge view partners, that's what this green is. You can grab that from a website, from your website and grab your specific color to kind of make it more unique to your company. So you can customize this. Instead of saying live chat, you can change it to say need help. And they can click that button right there. Once they click the button, you can set up a pre-chat survey. So within the customization section, you can set this up. What I did was simply ask for their name. So put my name in, I put my email address in, you can make these fields required or unrequired. They don't have to fill these out, but if there's specific pieces of information you want to know, make sure you make it required. And then you can put their phone number in. And then I added the question, what can I help you with today? This can be beneficial if the chat comes in and you're doing some research and you want to know what their issue is before you just jump into the conversation. So then I'm going to hit submit. And then what it's going to do is it's going to connect. And the reason it's connecting is because right here, I got a little one button back in Dynamics 365. So then I can grab my chat. And now I'm chatting. So it says, you are now chatting with Michael. That's exactly what, let me pull this back over, the user is seeing. You are now chatting with Michael. So I can simply type out hello. I apologize for the screen jumping back and forth. I just want to show you what the customer is seeing and what I as a user in CRM would be seeing. Hello. And then I'm just going to put I need help. And there it is right there. So yes, I am talking with myself right now. But going back and forth, you can see exactly what your customers are experiencing. You can have these conversations with them. If you need to do additional research, there's these canned messages. So for instance, you know, your patience is appreciated. I will be with you shortly. Simply you can let them know if you're doing some research ahead of time. You can just click on this canned message, hit enter, and it's gonna pop that information right to them. So instead of wasting your time typing it out, it has these canned messages for you. There's the out of the box ones that I showed you there. You can also create customized messages as well. Right here is your knowledge base. So if they ask you a question and you want to search your knowledge base uh, to see if this has been answered before, it'll take you right to your knowledge base and you can do a search. Then trans and then you can transfer your chat as well, which is right here. And then the one item that I didn't show you before is co-browse. Now with co-browse, I highly recommend that you open that with in the Live Assist portal. So if we go back and we go to our Live Assist portal, so Agent Live Assist, and it opens up my chat. So it's going to connect. I have my active chat. If I click co browse, watch what happens on my customer's end. You've been invited to join a co browse session. It's asking you to click accept. Click accept and it's starting. Page is currently being shared. Now if I go back to here, I can see exactly what my customer is experiencing. 
Now I can click on this page, I can make changes on this page and help them, or I can do some really cool features like if I want them to click on a specific location, I can put this little highlight to tell them where to click. Or I can also draw on their page and say, you know, click rooms. I can show them what to do. So I recommend opening this up in Live Assist because Code Browse has a great functionality. But basically, it's your way as chatting with your customer to jump on their screen and help them. Now, as you can see here, if I make this change, if I circle home, here's what the customer see. It just jumped away, but it's circling the information on their screen as well so they can see it. So that's a really great feature of Code Browse. And then if I close that out and I go back to Dynamics 365, those are some really, really great features in terms of what the customer is going to see and how you're empowered to interact with them. Now, if I go back to the website, I wanna show you a couple of really cool features um, with the customer in terms of once you end the chat. So let's say I end the chat, they've gotten all the information they need. Either I can end it or they can end it. They end it, they just simply click the X button. You wanna end your conversation. Now, you guys know me, there are certain things that I really get really excited about, and this is one of them. You can have a transcript of the chat emailed to you. That email that you provided at the beginning is gonna send right here. If you simply click yes, if you need it to be sent to a different email address, you can change it. But this will actually email to you and you can see the transcript of the chat. Then it's going to ask you a customer satisfaction survey. Basically, how satisfied were you? And it gives you these different options. So if I click very satisfied, hit submit, it just says thank you for connecting with us. And now this is a closed chat. The other way for me to close it was next to that co browse button, there's a red button. That's just simply ending the chat. And that's the chat feature. Now there's a couple of other things that the chat allows you to do that doesn't necessarily mean chat. And this is some customizations. And I apologize, I want to back up for one second. You can actually customize this page even further. You can change the coloring on this. You can, excuse me, you can change the text. And you can actually change who appears here. There's some canned images of different people that are smiling and happy and happy to help you but you can also put in your logo so you can copy your logo from a website and you can, from your website and you can put it right in here that way they if you have a really cool brand and an image and logo you can put it right in there instead of having a smiling person so it's a way to customize it to make it work for you and your brand the other really neat thing is now this name sounds really funny i completely agree with that this is actually called a toaster and the reason for that is if i hit refresh it see how it popped up from the bottom there it's called a toaster because it pops up like toast out of a toaster you can customize this you can change the images you can change what this says um, it has a learn more button that you can have it take you to a certain place and then of course your close button you can also have this pop up in certain conditions. So let's say if a customer's uh, cart is a certain size. So a great example would, of that would be if, you know, shipping's over $40, or free shipping over $40 and they're at 35, you can pop up this message. So that's a really cool feature of it as well. So that's some stuff just beyond chat that you can do as well with this amazing tool. So if we jump back, last thing I wanna show you, if I go back to our PowerPoint, and those were the things that we covered, the live assist for agents, the demo, those are the different things that we went over. Next, we're gonna jump into live assist supervisor, specifically the visitor section. So let's jump back into 365 and I'm gonna show you this section. So if we go to service, and then we go to Live Assist Supervisor. You have to be set up as a supervisor in order to access this information. So it's gonna load the portal, and I wanna make sure I'm on the Visitors tab. 
So here's a conversation that I just had with the customer. So it's bringing up this visitor information. The information from the chat. So where, again, where they're located, their ISP operating system, all the stuff we kind of saw in the, in the agent view as well. But there's a little bit more to it. There's some predefined content here as well. And page navigation, okay, the current page that they were on. So Cafe X Hotel, um, this is the demo and the timing. Then there's also provide feedback on the agent. So agent did an excellent job. Oop. I can put that right there. And that's a customizable feature as well for supervisors. So then that survey has been submitted. And you can see up at the top here, for this specific customer, Mike Dodds, we've had one engagement. The average engagement length was three minutes, 48 seconds. Obviously, when you have more than one, it's going to be a different number. One engagement per hour. It utilized 1% of capacity, and they were 100% satisfied. So there's some really great information. And then I can pull down from even more tools and charts to give us more breakdown information. So interactive engagements, one out of three, so 33%. Logged in time, customer satisfaction, average engagement length, it's gonna give us all this great information. And then if I click this menu right here, this is gonna take me to this overall web visitors. So if I had more than one visitor, what it's gonna show me is it's going to give you it'll give you stat information at the top here as well which then can be jotted down out into this information so you can pull down it's got some great tools and ability for supervisors to be able to analyze um, how their engagements are you know their abandon rate right up here you know average time to abandon how long it takes to answer you could do that for all your visitors and then it's gonna give you that in charts here as well. And then you can do it for your web history and then for agents. So agent me, I'm the only one online right now. So one online and you can see other people in the status. So there's zero that are back soon, zero that are away, zero in current chats and zero chat capacity. So that gives you some really great tools and information to be able to analyze how your chat ability within your company is working. Let's jump back to our presentation. So some other features of chat, that toaster that I showed you before, you can only do one toaster per page, but you can configure it as many times as you want. If you have like 100 pages in your website, you can put a toaster on each one. Might not be the best idea, but it, there is that ability. Now, when you sign up for chat through for Live Assist, you get 30 seats and it's a 30 day free trial. So that's all our content on chat for the day. Next, we're gonna jump into some user submitted questions. Our first question is, I would like a page added to an account that has information that should be included in every opportunity automatically when the account is chosen. It would be like a description field that would have permanent information that would appear in every new opportunity when the company was selected. Great question. So in talking with this, with this user, understanding that they want to have a field on the account that basically is going to pull over into every single opportunity. Now, there's two ways to accomplish this. Data mapping, which is basically if you create an opportunity from an account, it's going to automatically pull this information over. Um, so it's going to transfer the value of that selected field into a specified field on the opportunity form as well. Please keep in mind that this only works for opportunities created from the account form. If you wanted to do the same actions, even though it's created outside of that specific account, so when you choose the account, then pull the information over, that can be done through a workflow. You're just gonna to wanna to set up the triggers of on create of an opportunity and changing the account lookup field. Our next question is, looking to see how to use marketing materials better. 
there is an excellent marketing materials um, webinar, user group webinar that we did. It was actually back in March 2016. Um, there's a lot of great marketing information out there. Unfortunately, too much to cover in a in a third in just a question for for, the, for this webinar. But there is some great information on that. Um, and there's also some great information out on Legendary Partners website within the blogs and other marketing user marketing webinars that we've done in the past that will really give you some great information. And the second question, also, are there ways to use different colored fonts, size fonts, or be able to highlight anything when placing info and or notes in the system? The answer to this is yes, it can be done, but there's nothing out of the box that can do it. It's really what we're doing is we're creating a customiz customization utilizing a web resource. Now, in terms of the notes section, you may need to customize, have a customized web resource to be able to allow rich text editing. And as long as the web resource allows highlighting different colored fonts, size fonts, or types of font, then you can do that through the web resource. Now, please note, there are many considerations you'll want to address, especially if you plan to utilize these fields in reportings or pulling the information out of the system. But if you just want to have it on the form and be able to make those changes, utilizing a web resource through and making customization can definitely be done. Our next question is, we've had some challenges with static list load. So walking through the, that intuitively would be helpful. Great question. And I'll kind of walk you through the steps and then I'll go through a marketing list and how to create it. So really we're going in and creating a new marketing list and we're choosing the list type of static. And then you're setting the, tar the targeted at field to be account, contact, or lead. Those are the only three that you could select. Now this is the part that gets tricky. You have to save the marketing list first, then add the members. And when you add the members, there's a couple different ways to do it. You can do it through a lookup, which is just simply searching the customer's name. Or you can use advanced find if there's specific um, criteria about your contacts as to why you want to add them this, to this marketing list, you can do it through advanced find. You can also do an evaluation of which members to keep using advanced find, and you can remove contacts from your marketing list using advanced find. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to do that. So if we go back to Dynamics 365 and we go to marketing and then we do marketing lists. And I'm gonna move this over. So that's also how you can move chat over just so you know is with this button right here. So if I do a new marketing list, I'm gonna name this just simply demo marketing list. Our list type is static. You can do static or dynamic. We're gonna do static. Targeted at, we're going to go with contact. And then you can fill in this other information. If you have a specific source, if you have a cost, you can add those. But really, name, list type, and targeted at are the main things that you need to fill out. Then click Save. Now you see in the middle, this member section now has the ability to add members. So if you click the plus button, here's your different options. Add using a lookup. I'll show you what that looks like. So if we click that radio button, click continue, we're just simply searching. So it's going to bring up our contacts looked up field, and then we can search. So if we wanted to search Maria, there's Maria. Click the checkbox, click select, click add. It's going to add the contact, and there she is right there. Or you can do add using advanced find. So if we wanted to grab all the contacts that are in the state of California, we could actually do that right here. We could do address one state or province equals California. Then we just click find. Now you can, nobody in our system is currently from California, but if there were some certain selections, you can check mark a specific grouping, not all of them, and then do add only the selected members, or if you like all the selections, just click add all members returned by the search. Add to marketing list, or if you don't like this query, just go back to query and then make your changes. 
And then the other options are you can remove using advanced find and evaluate using advanced find. All right. Thank you, Michael, for sharing that great content. Um, we do have a few questions, if you can just take a peek at those while I am um, talking about the resources in the upcoming webinars. And for those of you who did ask those questions, if you want to stay around to the end, I will turn it back over to Michael and have him answer those for you. Um, to talk about resources, we have been working hard at Ledgery to pull all of our resource content together in one area on our website. So please check out our website and click on resources. There you will find all of our on-demand webinars, our conference session webinars, eBooks and white papers, and last but not least, the access to our blog articles. Um, we have upcoming user group webinar. Um, it, this next month's webinar is going to be called Ask Mike. So Mike will answer pre-submitted questions and live questions. So if you have a burning question, join us and ask it live on the webinar. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, September 20th. Remember, if you cannot attend live, please register and we will email you a link on the, of the on-demand recording and the presentation slides. We also have a few other great webinars in the month of September. You can join Michael Dodds on Thursday, September 7th for driving user adoption. Michael will be providing some great tips on how you can drive and increase the user adoption at your organization. And if you're interested in marketing, you can join us on with our Act On partner uh, for Got Dynamics, Why You Need Marketing Automation too. That is on Thursday, September 14th from 1 to 2 p.m. So um, I don't know, Michael, if you can answer those online or if you just want to follow up with them. I will after. I will follow up on those questions um, offline, but I will definitely get back to you um, e either today or tomorrow with those questions, but I will definitely address them. Okay, great. Um, well, on behalf of Michael, myself, and all of us at Ledger, we thank you for taking the time to attend our user group webinar today. Have a great day and enjoy your summer.